Hello guys and welcome to the woodshed and I'm down here because quite honestly I've got a lot going on so far as hiking sticks. I'll let you have a look what's happening here and on top of that I've got a wood spirit I've got to rough out and get ready on a hiking stick so I can get everything else in proportion on it. It's not going to be finishing the wood spirit because the wood spirit I just want to get it to the point I can see what it is get it to the point i know how it's going to interact with anything else i do on the stick and on top of that it gives me a, a, enough of a proportion where i can size it and gain all the dimensions i need and allow that wood spirit to sit at the top of the stick so yeah um yeah there's a lot going on and we'll have a little look so as you can see i've been working down here and got a fair bit done already this one here is going to be a bushwhacker. It's quite a substantial gauged piece of wood. And it's got some nice colourings. I'll just put it there and we'll have a look. I'll put it over here. You can see it's got some dark tan colours. And then it goes into like a, a white cream colour. That's going to really pop out. And it's far enough from the tip, which I'm going to use oversized copper because obviously it's my um, bushwhacker model that'll be about five inches in depth so yeah i've just very quickly roughed out the um, crown on top of the handle and as you can see it's very crudely stripped back i've done the same with these these are just going to be ordinary ones i've got to strip those these here are worth noting because, quite simply, they're substantial gauges of wood. Um, if I put it against something like that, you can see what I mean. This is going to be my Valhalla models. And that's where I, I need the size to rough out a battle axe handle. So it's got to be sizable. This one here is the one I'm going to do a wood spirit on. Quite simply because there's enough size for me to get the wood spirit, but it's not this size, which is really heavy gauge wood. It's still going to be usable. It's comparable with these here and the bushwhacker. So you can see it's comparable. So it's a definitely in a usable size. These here are just out of the question if you want to do some long distance hiking. They're more for dog walking or just pottering down a trail and coming back or a little walk around the woodlands. Because they're really, really heavy gauge wood and I've got to cut that battle axe handle out of it. So down here in North Cornwall we've had two or three days of really good weather. They're calling it a heat wave but in reality it's ranging from between 20 to 22 maybe 23 degrees but it's still gorgeous and being down here in the woodshed is my favourite place to be when it's weather like this. Not so much fun when it's sideways rain and blowing a gale but in any case um, I'll just let you have a little look and you can understand why I don't mind being down here doing this, you know, when it's weather like this. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And look at that sky. Bring you around here. And my view from the office. Really loving it today.
Right then, I've got all these ready to go so far as they're ready now to go and be mechanically sanded. And I use a drill bit with a rotary disc. You would have seen that if you've tuned into my channel. But that's not happening today. I'm going to start getting this um, wood spear roughed out on this stick here. So I have some idea on where I'm going to place everything on it. So yeah, I'm going to clean up all my tools, all the mess here and get set up to do that. Right, you can see I've used a fair bit of um, my stock there. And here, as you can see, it's gradually tailing off there. It was totally flush out like that. Um, I've used a lot of material. I would traditionally be possibly there if I discount all that, but I lost um, a couple months at the beginning of the year due to bereavements so i've still got a fair bit of stock to use because we kind of slowed down in here because obviously um, we were dealing with that but yeah you can see how fast your stock disappears and like i said if if i didn't have to deal with the bereavements i possibly could discount that as well um it's not too big a deal it just means it'll roll over into next year as well but I'm beginning to fly through it again. Right, coming into the workshop, just let you have a look at this. This wood spirit here, I've oiled it and it's ready to go. I'm going to cut it off there. And like I said to you, it's going to be a topper. But this wood spirit here has been oiled and I've allowed it to sit. I've saturated it. All I've got to do is mount it and give it its final sanding and then give the whole stick a coat of um, boiled linseed but yeah this one's ready as well so just a quick one to talk about the economic environment i'm operating in at the minute things have slowed down quite dramatically over the last couple of weeks regarding walk-in sales and on top of that online sales quite simply with the way things are with the government and people of my age and above they're kind of sitting tight they're not making any luxury per, uh, purchases and a hiking stick for me could be classified as a luxury purchase um, from the point of view it's not a burning necessity till things become clear in the autumn budget i've had this before with boris um, and other 
announcements that get made by prime ministers about the economy and things like that if it's doom and gloom i notice my sales take a big drop straight afterwards they start to climb again it's something i've become accustomed to and if you're operating in the crafting environment uh, if you're a small time cottage crafting uh, manufacturer like myself and i'm small time you will have to put up and deal with these situations you're at the mercy of the economy and other you know pressures on yourself but i'm lucky my custom orders are coming in because quite simply um, if you want a custom order, you want a custom order. It's not going to be a, you know, oh, I fancy a hiking stick. I've seen that guy on YouTube. And do you know what? I fancy doing a bit of what he does and being part of that. So I'm going to buy one of his sticks. That's kind of dried up at the moment, but it comes back, swings and roundabouts. Right, I've got my drill set up and I've brought power down. I've cleaned up all my shaping tools and everything. I've still got to clean all that mess up. I've got a pencil rubber. I've got a mask. I've got the stick stripped, the bit I'm going to work. And I've got all my burrs and bits that I'm going to rough out this uh, wood spirit with. Pretty much I'm ready to go. So I've got my piece of wood here and I'm just looking to gauge what, where I'm going to go. Just going to draw a line down there. That's going to be the start point of the nose as you can see there. Um, I think I'll bring it out here. Don't want to go too big because I don't want to go too deep. I've got to still leave some meat on this stick. It's not an oversized stick right bring it around here try and get it is uh... so that's going to be the kind of nose and that's pretty much where I'm at at the moment may have to take a bit of that bark off I'm, I might be able to just wood burn into that not wood burn it I might be able to do, actually cut into that but I like to see what I'm doing yeah so yeah I think it's time to start doing something now so obviously I'm not doing a tutorial on how to do this I'm just showing you what I'm doing here today just to give you an insight into the variety of stuff that I do and um, yeah, I've got to be careful when I do this one that I don't take too much meat away. I still have to have it deep enough to give the representation of what I'm after, but it to have enough meat on it to be solid. This here should sit higher than where the hand would hold anyway, but it's almost like... Um, a decorative piece on top of the stick but in any case you know you still have to leave enough meat so I'm gonna get kitted up you got well I'm not going to be able to talk with this on anyway so that's probably a blessing for some of you guys because it has been noted that I do waffle on and my accent and how I talk kind of great some people <sighs> but hey that's just me
Well then guys, that's the end of another day. We've got a good few sticks there ready to go on to uh, my disc sander tomorrow when I've got an hour free. I've got a lot to do tomorrow with the wife and uh, bits and bobs. But when I get an hour free, I'll set it up down the woodshed so I can come and go while I'm doing things with the family and the wife. So that's pretty much how it oper I operate really. While I'm doing other things, I use... I set everything up, then I can come and go, do a bit here and there. But um, yeah, they're going on the dish sander tomorrow. This one here has been roughly carved out. It's now for me now to sand and get it cleaned up how I want it. It's looking quite nice now. You can definitely see what it is and how it's going to be. So from me, from him, take care, stay safe, and I hope to see you guys on the trail.